whoever wants to answer, just I guess how much did you guys feel the crowd? How much did you feed off that tonight? We fed off that a lot. Yeah, the fans of Indiana are always great. Even when we were losing last year, they were always great. They were always loud for us. We got about six home games left, so we're still going to need all the fans to be like that every single night for us when we play uh, these teams. I say after making a couple, the rim kind of just opens up a little bit more and it just gets easier to uh, get the basketball in the hoop, basically. So I was just trying to just take what the defense gave me and uh, I was just letting it go and then, you know, it was all up to the ball from there. Um, but we had a great preparation from our coaches, um, Coach Martin. We just stay together through everything. Uh, throughout all that happened, we just know that at the end of the day, it's still us, the only ones that's in the gym, it's still us, the only ones that are going to see each other, it's still us, that's still a team. So we didn't let none of the outside get to us, we just stay together, and then you see the results are coming out well for us. Yeah, I'm always going to try and be a pest because me being my size, I know they probably get a little annoyed at me being down there hitting them a little bit. They probably think this little guy is trying to, you know, move me out the way. I'm just trying to do whatever it takes for my team to win. And I feel like even guys like Colin and Max and Emmett, you know, they may be a little undersized, but they still got a lot of heart. And if you got a lot of heart, they can take you a long way. Typically well in Big Ten play coming in, now you get 15 threes tonight. I mean, was this something you guys saw coming? This what you know, finally kind of starting to hit from the perimeter? Uh, yeah, I think we saw it coming. You know, guys just been staying in the gym. Um, I don't think our shot is something that we're going to be worried on because we know we're going to get it going. And I think that we've just been competing in practice with shooting drills and all that. And um, guys like Yogi got it going tonight. Yeah, we basically start all five of us being shooters. So when we go out there, they may think that they have the matchup when we're playing defense. But at the end of the day, they got to guard us too. So when Colin gets the ball on the wing, the, the big always flies out at him. And he just drives right by him for either a layup or a pass. And he can knock down the three. So that's the biggest thing is we basically have an undersized stretch five, you can say for our team and when uh, you have that and the way we move the ball so well, uh, everything is just gonna fall into place. Very quickly, no, I didn't. Um, I just knew that if my time came, until my time came, um, like Sam was saying, Coach says it's playing on demand and numbers called and go and do your job. What's your focus on doing? Uh, just a little bit of form, um, get my shot refined and then um, confidence also. <clears throat> they're a great team. Uh, they're a ranked team. I think they were a single-digit ranked team on one poll. So just beating them just gives us more confidence. You know, we we came to the game knowing it was going to be a dog fight. It was going to be like a war zone. Uh, coming out with this win is great for us. It's great for us mentally. It's great for us physically. You know, uh, they come, they're coming from another conference. We're seeing how other conferences are, and they're seeing how our conference is. So it was a great win. Sparker, I feel like I feel like he's in every single play for us. You know, he's kind of a ball back, and I say when the shot goes up, he's always flying. He'll go through two bodies to get the ball if he has to. And for us to have a guy like that, we're going to need him to win games for us in close games. So I know Kyle's going to give it his all when he gets out there. And like he said, uh, for him now starting, it's a plan of demand thing. You know, the last game we had here at uh, Penn State, Ryan Burton came in the game and started that 10-0 spark for us. So. You know, when we get guys like that, and you know, guys like Colin, he's starting now. He's just got his confidence, and now his confidence is just rolling. Just like Colin said, he's just got to come in the game, play on the man. You never know when your name's going to be called. Uh, it'd be times where, you know, they coach all passion a couple of times, or whatever, you just start to get down, but nobody on the bench starts to get down. Just know that when the name is called, it's just game time. You just got to play and be, be ready. You just got to come in ready to fight. I mean, they're big guys, they're stronger than me, bigger than me, taller, longer, but um, it comes down to heart. Like, in there, battling, Troy's in there, battling, bigger guys. You just got to be to the spot, move your feet, and uh, just be aggressive and be confident. And, um, everybody else doing around you doing their job um, to help you out and give you a lot more confidence to play defense. What play? The, the, just the basic structure with Colin as a stretch five. Oh, <coughs> yeah, that was just thrown in last minute. Yeah, so that's just the beauty of our team. We just 
know how to execute a play at a timeout. Uh, everybody knows where to be in the right spots, and uh, we just get it done. I mean, they are really good. And we knew we were going to have to play that standing game to beat them, and our guys, uh, to their credit, really stayed true to that. They stayed true to what had to happen. The ball had to move quickly. Um, we had to play through the paint. A couple of times that we didn't, we got that adjusted real fast. And we had to make sure it was getting reversed. And uh, you know, the more that we play Colin now away from the post, the better it is because he can drive the ball for us. And um, if there's just we've got to be able to we've got to be able to find different ways inside of the game uh, to get to the basket, to to uh, play through the paint, so that we can get to the foul line, not just be a jump shooting team. And and we're starting to learn that. But the bottom line is, no matter what we're in, as long as they're moving the ball. Uh, they're pretty good, but they're even way better when they're getting defensive stops so we can get out on our break. And I thought the first half was solid, but we were giving up too much space uh, to their offense, and we weren't we weren't nearly as aggressive as we needed to be with ball pressure, with how we wanted to guard. Um, we, had, we had to mix the match tonight big time because we just don't, don't have matchups in this game, and that they have too many too many hard matchups. You know, certainly with the with the, with the length that they have and the size of the shooters, but does Wells matchup is really hard and because you don't have anybody like him. So the bottom line is we had to be we had to be very active and a couple times we made mistakes, he picked us apart on that. For the second half we, we adjusted well. And we adjusted in the sense that it was better ball pressure, better weak side defense, and uh, we're just a little bit more active. And we had 18 deflections in the first half, 26 in the second half. It, to me that's a big deal. Um, Colin Hartman's mom might know the last time he had three block shots, but I've never seen it. So, you know, certainly that's we might have to triple his deflections. You know, when, when you get when Colin's getting a block, but that's just the way we have to be right now. To their credit, that's that's what they're doing. That's how they're playing. They are, they are. Uh, we, we came back on Tuesday night. We were really sharp. We were sharp yesterday. Uh, the walkthrough today was as quick um, as I've ever probably had one in Indiana because they were so ready to go. That it was like if we go much longer, I mean we're gonna we're gonna play the game right here. I mean they were they they were flying around, and um, and they came up they played that way. They, they they played that way. Their mindset was really really good, and they knew it. You know they they had great respect. They have great respect for Maryland. They knew it was a big deal, and uh, they wanted to see where they stood. So a lot of really good uh, work, and I think one of the great things that I'll open up to questions. One of the great things for our team is. They spend so much extra time working on the game. And sometimes they're together and sometimes they're not. Okay? When we get back on, on Sunday, and this is this is why he just continues to improve. We get back on Sunday, you know, bus trip back, we're working late, and 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 I hear the balls bouncing late Sunday night. There's Yogi out and he's shooting on the shooting gun and uh, late at night. Monday morning, there he is. Okay, we don't practice. Monday afternoon, early evening. There he, that late or late afternoon, there he is. Uh, Wednesday, he shot after practice. I hear again he's back in here late last night after we didn't meet till late last night. He's in there shooting again. That's a hunger level. You know, that's that's leadership. And and that's what we have to continue to get. Because Yogi's playing so well for us, but he wanted to play better. Now we got 